Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon. Good evening. Today is um, day 31 of the 50 days fasting and prayer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And today we are going to pray against killing and shedding of blood in every nation of the world. I'm sure you agree with me that um, the issue of killing and shedding of blood has taken a greater turn for bad in the recent times. And it's it's appalling at the rate at which even young people and old people are being killed, either for ritual purposes, either for kidnapping issues, you know, and all sorts of evil doings in the land. So we want to pray against them this morning because we cannot say that our family is protected or even our family is not um, around the place where such things are happening. Our heart should bleed for humans that have been killed daily, for blood that has been shed daily. The blood of innocent men and women have been shed on our land every day. And this blood, like the blood of Abel, is crying for vengeance. No wonder many of our countries, many of our nations are in one trouble or the other because of the blood that is shouting. As the ch children of God that we have, we want to go to our Father today and also plead that the Lord will bring an end to this evil doing in our land and i believe the lord will listen and hear us in jesus name amen exodus 21 verse 16 says he who kidnaps a man and sells him or if he is found in his hand shall surely be put to death this is the word of god that, that has been written for how many years now and even when god called the israelites he gave them instructions on kidnappers on what to do about kidnappers where well, we thank god for law and order we thank god for the security personnel so it means if any man kills and sell if the if a man is found guilty of doing this kidnapping somebody or selling somebody the person should face the judgment but even spiritually we can also pray so the person god can kill that person god can judge that person and bring them to face their own death Deuteronomy 24 verse 7 says, If a man is found kidnapping any of his brethren of the children of Israel and mistreats him or sells him, then that kidnapper shall die and you shall put away the evil from you. So it is just pinpointing how God sees kidnapping. God is not happy with kidnapping and that is why we're going to his presence today to call them to judgment, to call them to order. Everyone that is involved in this ring of kidnapping, everyone that is involved in this ring of ritual killings, everyone that is, is involved in this just raiding a, a, a village, raiding a community, and just killing everyone just for fun of it. We are calling them and we are bringing them to the court of law of the Lord. We are bringing a stop to all these menace against human lives. Join us this morning, and I pray the Lord we hear our cry even as we intercede on behalf of our nations, on behalf of our communities, in Jesus' name. Amen. Killing and shedding of blood is a global command, is a, a global problem now. Any country you go to, people have the license to go on, or even when they ha don't have a license to go on, they, they have gone illegally. Some of them, they, they have other sharp objects to use. And even in the homes, you see husband killing wives, wives killing husband, the children are not left out, and all this evil is so rampant in the in the in the land now. I want to ask, let's thank God because He is alone, He's the Redeemer, He's the only one that we are able to plead our cause to. Let's thank him because we don't have to say we are queuing or we don't have to say I have to get this amount of money. I have to make this sacrifice because before I can talk to God. Thank you, Lord, because you are the one we can plead our cause to. Thank you, Lord, for being always available to us, always and always available to us. Oh, Father, we exalt your majesty. We give you all the glory. We give you the highest praise. Oh, Lord, we bless your name. We give you all the glory. Father, we say you're worthy. There is none like you. All glory, honor, and adoration be unto you. Thank you, Jesus, for being our Father, for being our faithful Father. We exalt your majesty. We give you the highest praise. Oh Lord, we bless your name. We give you the highest praise. 
Oh Lord, we bless your name. Father, we bless your name. Father, we lift you high. Be thou exalted, Father, in Jesus' name. Proverbs 23, verse 11 says, for their redeemer is mighty. He will plead their cause against you. We will say, Father, we thank you for your for your mighty. And you will plead our cause against every ritual killers. You will plead our cause against every kidnappers. Father, we thank you for our redeemer is mighty. Thank you, Lord, for our redeemer is mighty. For you will plead our cause against every every ritual killers. You will plead our cause, Lord. You will plead your people's cause against every ritual killers, every kidnappers. Father, we thank you for you are a mighty God. You are on our side and you will plead our cause against every ritual killers. You will plead our cause against everyone that is sponsoring them. You will plead our cause against every kidnappers and their ring. You will plead our cause against them. We bring them to your court of law today. Father, judge them, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for you are a just judge and you will judge them accordingly. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, please lay your divine ambush against every kidnapper, ritualist, and cultist in Jesus' name. Father, please lay your divine ambush against every kidnapper, ritualist, and cultist in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, please lay your divine ambush against every kidnapper, ritualist, and cultist in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, please lay your divine ambush against every kidnapper, ritualist, and cultist in Jesus' mighty name. Father, lay your ambush, Lord, against every kidnapper, ritualist and cultist in Jesus' name. Father, lay your ambush against them. Against them, Lay your ambush against them. In the name of Jesus, Father, arise, Lord. Arise, Lord, on behalf of your people. Father, lay ambush against them. In Jesus' name, we pray. In Second Chronicles 20, verse 21 to 22, it reads, And when he had consulted with the people, talking about Jehoshaphat, he appointed those who should sing to the Lord and who should praise the beauty of holiness as they went out before the army and were saying, Praise the Lord for his mercy endures forever. Now when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord sent ambushes against the people of Ammon, Moab and Mount Seir, who had come against Judah and they were defeated. Oh, even in praises, look at what happened. The Bible says the Lord ar arose and laid ambush against them and the Lord arose and laid ambush against them. We're just going to take a moment to worship the Lord and say, Father, arise, arise, Lord, arise, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, arise. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Sing hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Amen. Sing hallelujah, amen. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, you are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, hallelujah, you are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Arise, O oh Lord, let your enemies be scattered. Arise, O oh Lord, let your enemies be scattered. Arise, O oh Lord, let your enemies be scattered. Arise, O oh Lord, arise. Arise, O oh Lord, let your enemies be scattered. Arise, O oh Lord, let your enemies be scattered. Arise, O oh Lord, let your enemies be scattered. Arise, arise, O oh Lord, for that lay ambush against every ritualist, against every kidnappers, against every cultist that are causing menace, that are bringing the, cutting the life of people short in Nigeria, in South Africa, in every nation of the world. Father, Lord, lay ambush against them. Father, come against them, Lord. Father, come against them, Lord. People that are wasting the lives of people. Oh, people that are just going about killing people for no just cause. Oh, Lord, arise, Lord. Arise against them. Arise against them. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Father, arise in your power and release all your children in the cage of kidnappers and ritualists in Jesus' name. The Lord's hand is not short. The Lord's hand is mighty. He can release even those that are in the prison. He can release even those that have been captured. The Bible says in Acts 16 verse 25 to 34, the account of Paul and Silas, because they were preaching the word of God, they were seized and they were beaten and they were in prison. The Bible says in the midnight, Paul and Silas sang praises. They sang him to the Lord and they were praying. Oh, and the Bible says the Lord reigns. Let the earth tremble because the Lord reigned in the praises of his people. By the time the Lord came down, what happened? The prison foundation was shaking. The Bible says there was earthquake and the, the, the chains of everyone was broken. Even the chains on their feet, even the chains on their hand. And what happened? They were delivered. We're going to pray, Father. We, we intercede concerning everyone in the den of the kidnappers today. We we'll pray, oh Lord, arise and release them. Father, arise and release them. Cause confusion, Lord, in the camp of the kidnappers. Cause confusion in the camp of the ritualists. Cause confusion in the camp of the cultists. Father, they are holding people. Father, bound. Father, cause confusion, Lord. Let there be release of everyone that is being held bound. Father, let there be release. Let there be divine release right now. Intervene, oh Lord. Intervene, oh Lord. Intervene, oh Lord. Father, intervene by your mercy. By your mercy. By your mercy. Intervene. Let the foundation of where they are being kept be shaken. Let the door be open. Let every of their chains be broken right now. In the name of Jesus, Father, intervene. Intervene on behalf of your children. Father, hear our cry today and intervene. Father, scatter the plans and agendas of kidnappers and ritualists in my country. Father, scatter, Lord, the plans and agendas of kidnappers and ritualists in Nigeria. Scatter, Lord, the plans and agenda of kidnappers in South Africa. Father, scatter, Lord, the plans and agenda of kidnappers in UK, in United States, in every African country, in every continent of the world. Father, scatter it, Lord. Oh, the plans and agenda of kidnappers and ritualists. Father, scatter it by your mercy. Father, scatter it by your mercy like you did to Jehoshaphat in 2 Chronicles 20, 22. Oh, Lord, arise, Lord. Oh, Lord, arise, Lord. Arise, Father. Arise, Father. Arise, Father. Every plans, Lord, of the kidnappers. Father, scatter it in every nation of the world. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. Father, you have, you own the earth, Lord, wherever it is they are hiding. Father, scatter their plans. Father, scatter their plans in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Father, you are the consuming fire. Please rain upon the kidnappers and ritualists, brimstones and fire that, that fails to repent in Jesus' name. Every kidnapper, every ritualist that fails to repent. Oh Lord, rain your brimstone. Rain your fire upon them right now in the name of Jesus. Father, rain brimstone. Rain fire against every ritualist that failed to repent. Every ritualist that continued in their heart. Every ritualist that their heart is adding. Every kidnappers that their heart is adding. Every cultist that their heart is adding. Father, rain brimstone. Rain your fire. Rain your fire, 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 fire upon their camp. Rain your fire upon them in the name of Jesus. Take their peace in the name of Jesus. Rain your fire upon them. Take their health. Take all that makes them human in the name of Jesus. Father, take their mind in the name of Jesus. Every kidnapper, every ritualist, every cultist that are causing problems to your people. Father, arise, Lord, and deal with them. Send your fire. Send your brimstone upon them. In the name of Jesus. Father, send your fire. Send your brimstone upon them. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 11 verse 5 to 6 says, The Lord tests the righteous, but the wicked and the one who loves violence, his soul hates. The Lord hates violence. Upon the wicked it will rain coals, fire and brimstone, and a burning wind shall be the portion of their cup. That is Psalm 11 verse 6. We're going to pray, Father. According to Psalm 11 verse 6, rain upon the wicked, fire and brimstone, and a burning wind. Father, rain upon the wicked, fire and brimstone, and a burning wind. Father, rain upon the ritualists. Rain upon the kidnappers and cultists. Fire and brimstone and a burning wind. According to your word in Psalm 11 verse 6. Rain upon them. Fire and brimstone and a burning wind. In the name of Jesus, we're going to pray. Father, please let your wind of destruction blow into the hideout of kidnappers and ritualists in Jesus' name. Let your wind of destruction blow into the hideout of kidnappers and ritualists. In the name of Jesus, let your wind, Lord, of destruction blow, blow into every of their eye doubt. Let it blow. Let it blow. Let it blow. Let it blow. In the name of Jesus, we're going to pray. Father, please shoot the arrows of premature death. 
into the camp of kidnappers and ritualists in the name of Jesus. Arrow of premature death. Let them experience premature death in the name of Jesus. Deuteronomy 24 verse 7 says, If a man is found kidnapping any of his brethren of the children of Israel and mistreats him or sells him, then that kidnapper shall die and you shall put away the evil from among you. The Lord has declared that the reward of a person that kidnaps is death. So we're going to pray. Fathers, according to your word, in Deuteronomy 24 verse 7, send your arrow of death Send your arrow of premature death into the camp of every kidnappers, into the camp of every ritualist killing, into the camp of every cultist. Father, send your arrow of premature death. Let them begin to die. Let them die. Let them die. Oh Lord, as the angel of death killed the firstborn of Israel at that day, Father, let the angel of death visit their home and cause them death and kill them in the name of Jesus. Father, if they refuse to repent, Lord, let the angel of death visit them and give them the reward of what they are doing in Jesus name we pray in the name of Jesus let them receive the reward of their evil doing in Jesus name father let every kidnappers and ritualists be rendered them we render every kidnappers and ritualists useless in our nations in Jesus name father make them powerless cause confusion among them in the name of Jesus father every ritualist lord every kidnappers lord father every of their techniques let it not work for them again in the name of Jesus we render them powerless we render them useless in the name of Jesus every ritualist every kidnappers in every nation of the world we render them useless in the name of Jesus we render them useless in the name of Jesus let every of their taxes no longer that work for them in the name of Jesus. Father, pluck out every kidnapper and ritualist from their dwelling place. Pluck them out, Lord. Father, reveal them. Reveal every kidnapper and ritual killers and cultists, Lord from every of their places. Father, Lord, pluck them out. Father, pluck them out. And even their Godfather, those that are sponsoring them, those that are sponsoring this evil in our nations. Father, Lord, reveal them. Let their secret not be eaten in the name of Jesus. Oh, the Bible says in Psalm 52 verse 5, you love all devouring words, you deceitful tongue. God shall likewise destroy you forever. He shall take you away and pluck you out of your dwelling place and uproot you from the land of the living. We're going to pray, Father, pluck them out of their dwelling place, wherever it is they are hiding. Father, pluck them out. Pluck them out. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. Father, pluck them out in the name of Jesus. Father, pluck them out in the name of Jesus. Father, pluck them out in the name of Jesus. We're going to pray. Father, please trouble these kidnappers and ritualists until they turn to you in the name of Jesus. But God, the Bible says, God does not want death of the sinners, but he wants them to turn to in repentance. We pray, Father, that you will trouble these kidnappers and ritualists until they turn to you in Jesus' name. Father, trouble them, trouble them, trouble them. Every of your creation, let it work against them. Let every of your creation work against them. Let every of your creation work against them. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 55, 19 and 23 says, God we hear. And afflict them. We're going to pray, Father, hear and afflict them. Even those who abide from of old. Father, because they do not change, therefore they do not fear. Verse 22 says, but 23 says, but you, O God, shall bring them down to the pit of destruction. Father, if they do not hear, if they do not change their mind, Father, bring them down to the pit of destruction. Bloodthirsty and deceitful men shall not live out half of their days. Father, we pray, Lord, bloodthirsty and deceitful men, according to your word in Psalm 55 verse 23, they shall not live half of their days. They shall be cut short. Their life shall be cut short if they refuse to listen. If they refuse to turn to you, if they refuse to change their ways, their life is cut short. We decree today, their life is cut short in the name of Jesus. We pray, Father, let the wickedness of kidnappers and ritualists come to an end. According to your word in Psalm 7 verse 9, Father, let the let, let the wickedness of kidnappers and ritualists, Father, let it come to an end. Let it come to an end. We decree an end to it in the name of Jesus. The terror of kidnapping, the terror of ritual killing, oh, come to an end right now. Come to an end right now. We bring it to an end. We declare an end to you according to the word of God in Psalm 7 verse 9. Let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end in the name of Jesus. Father, let the wickedness of the wicked according to your word in Psalm 7 verse 9 come to an end. We decree your word today. Wickedness of the wicked come to an end. Is your expiry date. Is your expiry date in the name of Jesus. Father, please deliver our land out of the hand of the wicked. Deliver our land, Lord, out of the hand of the wicked. Father, set your people free. Set your people free. As you said, the Israelites free from the hand of Pharaoh. Father, set your people free, Lord, and bring them down. 
Every wicked people, every wicked men that are ruling, that are kidnapping, that are killing people. Father, we pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, bring them to an end. In the name of Jesus. Father, bring them to an end. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 15 verse 21 says, I will deliver you from the hand of the wicked. We're going to pray. Father, please deliver your land out of the hand of the wicked. Oh, deliver your land out of the hand of the wicked. According to your word in Psalm 15 verse 21. In Jeremiah 15 verse 21. Father, Lord, deliver your people out of the hand of wicked. According to your word in Jeremiah 15 21, deliver your people, Lord, out of the hand of the wicked. Oh, deliver us, deliver us, deliver us, our great deliverer, deliver us in the name of Jesus. Father, arise and arrest all those sponsoring kidnapping and ritual killings in our nations. Oh, Jesus, arise, Lord, and arrest everyone that is sponsoring kidnapping, everyone that is giving them one support or the other. Oh, Lord, in the security, in the politics, in the politicians, everyone that is supporting the ritualists, in the the name of Jesus. Father, arrest them all. Arrest them all. Let their secret be revealed. Father, let their secret be revealed. Let their secret be revealed. In the name of Jesus. Father, destroy the network of kidnappers and ritualists in our nations. We pray, oh Lord, destroy the network of kidnappers and ritualists in our nations. In Jesus' name. They are causing families to cry. They are causing parents to cry. They are causing children to cry. Father, we pray, Lord, that you destroy their network. Cause confusion in their midst. Cause confusion in their midst. Cause confusion in their midst. Father, destroy their network. Cause confusion in their midst. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, destroy their network, oh Lord. Cause confusion in their midst. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, cause confusion in their midst. In Jesus' name we pray. We're going to pray according to Jeremiah 15, verse 21. According to Jeremiah 15, 21, it says, And I will make you to these people a fortified bronze wall, and they will fight against you, but they shall not prevail against you. For I am with you to save you and deliver you. are going to pray. Father Lord, fortify me, fortify my family against ritualists, against kidnappers in the name of Jesus. Let us not be victims of kidnappers. Let us not be victims of ritualists. You said you will fortify us like a bronze wall, Lord, and they will fight against us. They shall not prevail. In the name of Jesus, every ritualist and kidnappers, they shall not prevail against me. They shall not prevail against my family. They shall not prevail against my household. In the name of Jesus, my relatives, my loved one, they shall not prevail against them. In the name of Jesus, you will be with us, Lord. You will save and deliver us by your mercy. You will save and deliver us by your mercy. You will save and deliver us by your mercy. Father, we thank you for we believe that the siege of kidnapping and banditry is over in our nation. Thank you, Lord, for the siege of kidnapping. Thank you, Lord, for the siege of ritual killing. Thank you, Lord, for the siege of bandit killing. is over in our nation. Thank you, Lord, because you will decree your peace upon this nation. Thank you because this land belongs to you and its fullness thereof. Thank you because you have the heart of kings and princes in your hands. Thank you because you are the only one that can give bread to people. Oh, Lord, thank you because you are seizing the bread of every kidnappers and ritualist that has failed to change. Every cultist and bandit that have failed to turn the, a, a new way because you are, you are seizing them, because you are coming against them in your fury. We want Worship your name, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for your faithful God. Hallelujah belong to you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Let's not forget, even as we pray today, let's give him praise. Let's give him praise because in praise is our victory. And I believe it's going to arise like it did for Jehoshaphat, for the children of Israel. Have a blessed day in Jesus' name. Amen.